Hello and welcome to my channel, Scotland Mushroom Foraging and Fishing. Today we're back in the wood, in the woods just next to Loch Ore. Uh, it's called Heron Hill. And yeah, let's come. Let's go together and see if we can find something. So hopefully something else has grown in the meanwhile. And uh, beautiful day. Uh, well, a bit windy, but yeah, it's alright. And uh, yeah, let's see what has grown. And so, yeah, I'll keep you updated. Oh, someone stuffed a little mushroom up there. A little rustler. So, yeah, let's see what we can find. Maybe we can find some bullets today. I was really hoping to get the summer bullet, the summer bokini, penny bun, whichever way you call it. So that's what I'm really hoping for today. And you can see there's a lot of remains from rustlers. Some over here. So. Yeah, things are growing, so yeah, I'll keep you updated when we find something good for what we can take home. So yeah, stay tuned and join me. Yeah, here we have another stinkhorn. You maybe can see there's some flies on there. Yeah, so if I go into the other side, I should be able to smell it. Yeah, yeah, you can reek it from here because the wind is coming from this direction. Yeah, a stinkhorn. Yeah, I found lots of broken rustlers, but like, poor. But nothing really worth keeping. So, yeah, we keep looking and stay tuned. Here's our first bullet, which is quite old. Oh yeah, it's very very soft, so I can't really make it out what it is. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's actually summer bikini. Yeah, I, I still can see the netting. Yeah, the coloration is, is right. Yeah, I can see the netting on there, so that's a summer bullet. Oh, very nice. It's a shame it's old. So, yeah, I mean, the, the, the tubes start off white, and as they get older, they're going to yellow, and then dark yellow, and then darker. So, yeah, white fresh. Yeah, nice mushroomy taste. Color is, is, is just right for the summer bikini. So like a, a brown caramel, yeah, that's nice. So I'm going to have a quick look around here and we might find some more. Perfect, nice. In another group of silver tuft, quite loads of them, yeah. Yeah, you can tell us straight away. They have greenish, yellowish gills and stem like a brownish color on the top flesh is, is yellow as well so yeah they are poisonous so we leave them here nice to see right here we have some more bullets there's one two three where's the other one four yeah uh, i'll put the proper name up in the corner somewhere uh, yeah, oh yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, I think they call it the, the cracked bullet. I'll put the proper name up. Yeah, uh, yeah when bruising, the coloring red. Red feet, I call them red feet. Uh, yellow tubes. 
Yeah. They they could edible. They, they could have a lightly sourish taste. Uh, yeah, this one is should this one we can take. This one is already gone. It's already old. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at this one here. Oh, there's another one over there. Yeah, let's have a look here. Um, that's already a bit too soft. There's another one here. Yeah, that's already too soft. There's another one here. Nah, it's too soft. So a nice little group here. I can see some more down there. Let's take this one here. <coughs> oh, yeah, there's another one here. Yeah, it's too soft. Too soft. Yeah, I, I like them when they're... Because... Uh, and they're nice and firm. Of course, when uh, they're highly regarded by snails, maggots, worms, yeah, very highly regarded. So, we'll have another quick look around here. I've seen another one down here somewhere. Yeah, another one down here. Yeah. Well, we got one. Oh, yeah, there was another one here. So, yeah, it's happening with these. So, yeah, I'll keep you posted if I find something else. Well, here we found some more Russella. Yeah, flies. Flies, 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 flies. Oh yeah, that's a nice good one. That's a good one, I think. Uh, yeah, it's a brittle gill. I never find out what the name is. They're good edible ones. We tried them before. Yeah, this is already a bit... Uh, yeah, it's a bit, a bit soft inside. We leave them here. Let's have a look around. Oh, there's some more over here coming out. There's one there. Oh, there's a young one coming through here. Oh, yeah, that's a young one. Yeah. Yeah, this way we can take. Flies driving me mad today. There's some more coming out here. Oh, that's already too old. That's big. That's as big as my hand. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit too old. Yeah, I still haven't found out what these, what these are actually called. Uh, some older ones over there. So, as I said, there's about 300 plus different mushrooms of the rustlers. So sometimes they can be bit of a challenge to identify this but so long you identify as a rustler and you you do a taste test and it's mild or very very mild sharp then yeah they're, they're, they're edible but then then you just have to find out which ones you actually like because some taste good and some not too good oh what we got here then that's a different one. That looks like a charcoal burner. Yeah, that looks like a charcoal burner. Yeah, yeah, that's a charcoal burner. Nice. Yeah, find bits and pieces. Yeah, sometimes you go, you don't find anything or hardly anything, and sometimes you go, you find loads. You just have to go as often as you can and uh, yeah see I went over there over the other side I couldn't find nothing so now I came back to this side just over the path and uh, we're finding things so yeah so okay I keep you posted right we're back where we started yeah, I'm going to finish my walk now. Uh, well, we found a few things, not overwhelming. 
So, yeah, thank you for watching. Any comments? Please leave them in the comments or questions. And yeah, until then, we'll see you later. Bye bye.